Sir Jigalot of the Courtland Kingdom has been doing big things as of recent. Well, drill hip hop artist Shaheen K just made the Billboard Heat Seekers list and had a new baby Thank daughter you, named Kenzie. He's adding new skills to his skills on the mic. I learned how to change diapers now, you feel me? <laughs> I never know how to change the diaper. And I don't know how to make a bottle quick. Because usually, to me, it used to take forever. Now I know how to make a bottle quick in one minute. Fine, sweetie. Let's find out more about this from our special guest. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Before we get into the video, tune into Zebzuto's new EP. Wanna be like me, go get bent. He wanna find me, I don't do hands. No, I'm not Tyson, boy, get jammed. He tryna be from the gram. That is that shit that I can't understand. Look at the way he ran. Goddamn. I'm OYK, nigga. You choke it out, you gonna get shot. What am I dead, nigga? Keep on under that, nigga. <laughs> Have a choke it out, come outside, nigga. What am I pops? Come outside. Think so. You choke it out, come outside, I'ma light it on you. What am I pops? I'ma light it on you. Think so. Whoever, nigga, don't care about none of that. Come outside, you choke it out. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Flashback. Around April 2021, when EK chose OY over K Flockington the 87th, OY OG seemed stronger than ever. With Courtland linking up with Sugar Hill, it led to new beefs with gangs such as Tuwu and the Sweepers. The 20-year-old victim was found on the ground on Broadhurst Avenue near 145th Street just before 11.30 last night. Police say he was shot in the back and neck. They believe the shooting originally happened around the corner on 145th Street, but it's unclear how the victim ended up where he was found. And so far, no arrests have been made in this case. Many of you may recognize the name Matsov from this songs. Let's now look at the footage my lovely subscribers provided me with. Still trying to do hard, I'm trying to catch a sick. Smoking on Matt, man, I got a kick. Catch Brazy, beat him with the grip. I'm trying to slide, leave him where he live. Why they talking, they know what I did. Ran through Harlem, treat his thumb like kids. I'm a we been through the nick. Can't forget Lil' Sh got hit. Smoking on Matt, this shit got a kick. Everything they have, open his blink. Put him on my ops, had that from a shot, he got to his shoulder. Mass Ave, he couldn't want track. The nigga that jumped me is dead in his back. Better not laugh, cause I know what you mean. Mass Ave, he got hit in his face. When we catch Lee Julie, we gon' do him bad. Said the train nigga smoking your dad. Ill D thing, I heard you a fag. Being a guy shy, he's still get back. PJ Glizzy, aka Dirtbike Assassin, aka Cat Williams Regan, is a rapper from Cortland. He also happens to be Sir Jiggy's older brother. He's currently in Rikers as we speak for allegedly being involved in the murder of Matt Sal. Two of his main rappers are YNB Momo and J Daddy. They should have taken music seriously when OYOG was dissing them, they could have been in a different situation. Hold up, niggas looking for up they so but I don't get it, they still don't show up. Say they be spinning, but we never saw them. Like, look, look. Y K K O Y K. Oh, oh my kid. Why? Nah, nah. Oh, I ain't done, bro. G pop got stabbed with the slums, though. From a block with me, laying them things go. Red dot on the 10 tornado. I used to go for a two. Cutting my block, you might catch two. And I'm dropping the O. Both sides. O, Y, O, G, they both die. Mighty C's on court. Throw five. And it's two to the six. My top. If I'm spinning that 10 full shit, I'ma roll up a bun, start screaming. Yeah. I'm rising. I'm rolling up yellow. No, a chicken shit. Punching like Popeye. Punching. Hello, no, with chicken, shit, punching like Popeyes, nigga. Everything, Everything Popeyes, nigga. They punch it like Popeyes, you heard? Good ass biscuit. Shit tastes like chicken. Chicken. Fuck, <laughs> this nigga's so cold.
It's a two with the house, we gon' do it like heaven. Man, I've got him on like seven. Every team, team, we can hit two. We got bitches ducking in the fuck. Show EK would continue to diss to Wu, and they usually wouldn't reply until the day they finally met up. We were just standing outside the courtroom waiting for Shai K to go to see the judge. And all of a sudden, this young cat over here from another set threw up his gang sign. Shai K and all of his crew just ran after him, boy. And next thing you know, police come out from nowhere. And I'll fucking see me suck my dick. I know where you are. You are they like EK, he too cocky, he done changed his he got lit. They like EK, super hoppy, he told niggas suck his dick. That video proves that Sir Jiggy is really the scariest man ever. I'm currently trembling whilst I added this video. I wouldn't want to be on his bad side. As to who barely rap, this is about it to be honest with you. Moving on. This is the main event of the evening, sectioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, interim chairman, and D.D. Massey, our three judges scoring this. OLG, be locked for life. And for that, I'ma click my trigger. OLG, be locked for life. He be locked for life. He be locked for life. Jiggy Man would rep OY at times more than his own set. Why can't he keep a friendship? This is why he's truly the butcher from the Bronx, but let's get into this. <laughs> On the left-hand side, repping the Bronx, we have Shaw EK. And on my right, repping Harlem, the new Justin Bieber, D.D. Osama. Man, it's that D.D. Osama. I know the name. Sir Jiggy on live with the new Justin Bieber. Jigalat was comforting Bieber after his brother passed by reminding him how many opponents went out by the knife. After K Flockington, the 87th made his decision to cut off OYB Love and a Courtland set named 150 distanced themselves from them too. If you look at most of K and B Love's 2021 videos, you can see the 150 there as well. OY OG apart from OY and OG included the niche where Winter is from and Hybrid where Wowdy and the Boogie is from. Your favorite YouTuber predicted this shit. I made a video about this five months ago. Go watch it. After Naughty Osama passed away, everyone and their grandmother was Naughty Bopping. Oh, I had no idea who to diss, so they brought up a random Brooklyn gang member who passed away four to five years ago who was allegedly Kyle Rich's friend. Blockwork would also leave for one and be on his own again, standing up for someone who would have smoked him if he died. You can't hate his integrity, I'll give him that. 
Police are investigating a knife attack that killed the teenager. The fight was captured on surveillance video this morning in the Brownsville section, and so far, no arrests. Lee Ballard died on his way to a laundromat in 2018, and Blockwork and other Ohio G members would mock this. In my first video, I covered how Ohio G linked up with 2605 who have rappers such as 26AR and Humble GZZ. Lay was friends with Humble before he passed, which Ohio G didn't know. OGZ stopped dissing him, but OY continued, which led to a disrespectful snippet being released about Naughty. And Naughty, who my brothers? He said Naughty took a train to Jesus. They not smoking on Lee. That's how true they were. My dad. Let me dive in, buddy. Say you can push it, nigga. You don't even know what this is, nigga. Slick flocks the one and only. Nigga, Naughty got poked. You gotta go. She said punch around here, she took it crazy. Huh? Hey, back door open, don't get back door. We see the house to be climb on. The unfortunate passing of Edat Baby threw everything up in the air. Everything came to light and sides were chose, and OYOG would be a thing of the past. A couple of days after he died, Dudu Lo for one Hemi and Sir Jigalot of the Courtland Kingdom would release a tribute to Edot titled LLKD. After the mourning period for Edot was over, Dudu Lo went to the studio and dropped getting started with disses to Humble and Lay. Suck my dick, nigga. Suck my dick, humble. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? Creep cool, out like there's no shame in him. And I'm smoking on Lay when I lay with him. So the drag, you better run, nigga. We have shots, son. Many non-factors such as E.K. Chapa would repost Humble's disses and make it known he chose Humble's and the 150 would do the same. Leaving Jigalot in the middle again. Foster is a block in Harlem that is cordial with Sugar Hill but has tensions with Courtland. Dudu Low was with them on Sugar Hill and they said on Instagram, live that they are smoking on Diddy and Yellow. Which led to this live. Like, why you keep saying Link up. Why you keep link saying up. Link up. Link up. We can link up. We can why you talking like you super crazy, up. though, boss? Why you talk my dick, nigga? What am I dead? What? Nigga, fuck you talking about? Why, why you talk like you super crazy? Why you talking 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 like you super crazy, though? Nigga, say it's crazy. Why you say, how nigga say it's talking Diddy and Yellow? You say it. And y'all, you're not saying it. Nigga, fuck you. You tracking that? If you tracking that, smoking 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 we gon' bring it to y'all niggas. What am I dead? Stop. What am I dead? Stop. Word to mama. Yeah. Hey, back door open. Don't get back door. This was when the back door was open, but nothing major happened between them. Yet so it could have been resolved until Sugarville did this. Fuck Maddie. Oh, and I'm daddy off Patty while I'm smoking on Maddie. Oh. And I'm daddy off Friday while I'm smoking on Maddie. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. Spongy Rala is an OGZ affiliate, and Raddy was his dead friend, which led him to smoke on Sugar Hill dead members and pull up to Sugar Hill, specifically Blockworks House. Blocky. We you at, Blocky? Blocky! Where you at, Block? By this time, everyone thought OYLG would go back together, but this was far from it. 
A couple days after this, the 150s would go on live in the middle of the night smoking on OY members. Flashback. Nigga, ah, close. Niggas be media, niggas. Niggas be media, niggas. Niggas, eyes closed. The 150s are saying ever since Sensei got beat up, there has been hidden animosity towards them. End of flashback. Come over here. Pussy nigga. What am I, mother? What are you talking about? Fuck is wrong, niggas. I came to the hell. What am I, mother? I'm smoking on King's Little Hottest Chop. Ah! Man, shit, man. He's still looking. Chicken spy. Yo, I'm off this though. Yo, fuck Kane, fuck. Oh my god. You was not on shit. Bro, bro, word of my mother, you was not on shit when you came to my hood. What are you talking about? Fuck. You were not enough to get him on hood. And he just took a trade. And he always broke y'all niggas down. Y'all not even tough. Your man ain't gonna come out the spot. Yo, cow. Yo, cow. Yo, cow. Yo, cow. Yo, cow. Fuck that. We took these niggas to their ops. And I went to the work. GD Master would be on this live smoking on E-Dot. Roscoe and be play for Keep's cousin called J. Benji. J. Benji's from the Blammers who are allied with YG but was related to most of Sugar Hill, so there wasn't any beef. He was trying to rob someone and the person who he was trying to rob shot him and killed him. His name hasn't been brought up in any disses until now. I was down on my ass, they reach out, so that's why I'm missing the store. And all of this shit's my cousin. J. Benji, you know that you're good. Oh, why would clap back in a couple hours by going on live and smoking their dids too? As one would say, it is truly up and stuck. Oh, yeah, okay. Every oh, oh, oh shot, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> black ass homie, black ass homie. Is that what the Yo, RG, call me, I love you, pussy. This would then lead to everyone fake spinning to each other's blocks for the internet. Naughty Bop, the Naughty Bop, I wanted to ask you about, you know, personally, because I saw you made a post about that, how you didn't support it. So, like, how did you feel about it when you first listened to it? I, I even never looked at the video, never played it. I seen it on Instagram, so, like, what I seen doing it, I'm like, nah, that's whack, bro. That's whack, bro. Much, much later. When we heard they were smoking our dead. Sir Jigalot recruited Wadi Piranha Teeth and the original Coco Felon Booba Savage to then Naughty Bob. This caused a major ruckus. Uh, I ain't wanna do it, but they got me fed. Like, did he go with his neck? Like, no, got beat his chest. Nigga, bitch, put on the bed. Coco G, we smell when he does. Like, why would they make him a. Dudu Low was the first to go to the booth and drop a diss. Funny how life works. He made his best song out of this situation. Hilarious. Uh, I didn't want to do it, but they got me fed. Like, did he go with his neck? I, like, no, I said, hold on. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. What? That's Benji. Benji. You win. It has gone to the point where nothing can be the same once dead people are mentioned. Rest in peace, OI. OG, you will be missed. Oh, I can I took it back when I said, fuck now, they be going out in five. If they got a ghost for the plot, everything came. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm at a low five, that's about to eat out, nigga. We smoke him like Sally, Cali, Brittany, that nigga a joke. And King got poked with some chicken, he cobra. Ah! And three, he's smoking my dad's. But now he got stabbed in his chest. And eat with the dog, with the dog in his hat. Show no remorse, nigga, everything dead. Like, why you saying he fast? Talk about scenes, act about dot. He can't walk, cause that nigga got. Chopper EBK would continue to dissy dot. And other Courtland members would too. Sir Jigalot would not be happy with this at all. I'm calling you smoking eat out. Come outside, nigga. Come outside, yo. And now we are back full circle. What's next for Sir Jiggy? Is he going to beef his own hood? Who knows? We will find out in the next episode of The Butcher from the Bronx. 
Worm 2, bro, when we first started fucking with each other, niggas said niggas is, niggas is riding forever. You know why y'all not riding? Because y'all was not a part of that group that was talking. Y'all was not a part of that. It's not Y'all not the main factors. Niggas got to understand that. Y'all niggas was not in that group that took. When niggas was like, yeah, nobody can ever speak on Kane. Nobody can ever speak on Yellow. Y'all wasn't in that group chat. That's why y'all dick sucking now. It's crazy though. Niggas understand. Niggas do this shit for what? I hope it's not the fan. Ever since the main OI OG rappers got locked up, such as Sugar Hill Keem, OY Quan, PJ Glizzy, CJ Goon, B. Goon, etc. One could say that's when it all crumbled. Much, much later. Don't f with Keem, he shot. No decisions, he shot. Quan is shot. JB's is shot. Ross is shot. Ocean Hill is shot. Niggas from the older niggas together. If OIOG was really locked in for life, this could have been settled off social media instead of reacting off emotion and pride. Most of them who are in jail are probably living together eating noodles and watching the real housewives of Atlanta whilst these guys argue on the outside. Uh, I didn't wanna do it, but they got me fed! Like, did he go with this neck? Like, no, I got beat his chest! Nigga, bitch, they put on the bed! Fuck OG, we smoking they dead! Like, why would they make my dead? Like, I don't keep one in the head! Walk down no V trying to catch the right! Yellow, yellow, yellow! It was just at one point, oh, wow, okay, so. That's a fact. And, and I ain't gonna lie, you know why I stood on that, though? Because my little brother that had love for a lot of them Cortland niggas. Mm -hmm. And I ain't gonna say hi, because I'm gonna let that man say how he feel, you feel me? I ain't gonna talk for his feelings, but... It was love between, you feel me, my little brother, both of them, the twins in Cortland, you feel me? I'm not going to say I could care less about my, my the members, but it's my blood, you feel me? So if my blood is jacking somebody, it hits different than the members is jacking somebody. Yeah. So I, y'all niggas is around my brothers every day. He ain't got peas, you feel me? Yeah. And he great. So of course I'm going to embrace y'all when I come home, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, and that was the nature, but as far as me having a rapport, I love these, I don't even know y'all niggas be, you feel me? For y'all to say y'all smoking on my dads, it's forever up. That last clip was a Y Teddy, who is Kim and Kwan's older brother. He said Kim hasn't made his decision when that interview was recorded. But he has now. Looks like it's really over. Oh wow, G, smoking every dead off face shot. Smoking on Smoking on Dottie.